There are thousands of animals on our planet. These animals exhibit some morphological similarities and differences. Morphology refers to the study of external features or characters of organs or body parts. Let's take a look at the morphological features of an earthworm. While gardening, it is common to find small reddish-brown worms crawling on the soil or decaying leaves. These creatures are earthworms and they live in the upper moist layers of soil. They are commonly seen at night when they crawl to the earth's surface to feed. However, during the day, they are found in their burrows and can be easily traced by following their fecal deposits known as worm castings. Earthworms have a long cylindrical body that is divided into similar segments. Some species have a body made up of over 100 to 120 segments. Did you know that some giant species of earthworms have an average length of 80 centimeters and a diameter of 2 centimeters? In India, there are two common species of earthworms, Ferrotima and Lumbricus, which measure 10 to 15 centimeters in length. The body of an earthworm can be dorsoventrally differentiated. The dorsal surface has a dorsal blood vessel that runs longitudinally along the body. While the ventral surface has genital openings or pores. Similarly, the body of an earthworm can also be differentiated anteriorly and posteriorly. Although the anterior and posterior ends of the earthworm look similar, the anterior end is distinguished by a wedge-shaped structure called the prostomium. The prostomium is a sensory organ and also helps to open cracks in the soil and facilitate the movement of the earthworm. The anterior end also bears the mouth, which is attached to the first body segment called the peristomium or the buccal segment. Moreover, the mouth is covered by the prostomium. The body of a mature earthworm has a thick, dark band called the clitellum. This band is formed around the 14th to the 16th segments due to the secretion of glandular tissue and divides the body into three parts, the pre-clitella, clitella, and post clitella segments. The fifth to the ninth segments of the body have four pairs of spermatical apertures in the ventrolateral sides of the intersegmental grooves. The fourteenth segment has a single female genital pore, while the eighteenth segment bears a pair of male genital pores. Moreover, each segment of an earthworm has minute pores called nephridiopores. These pores are connected to nephridia, which serve as excretory organs. The earthworm's body is rough to the touch due to the presence of tiny S-shaped bristles called CT, which are embedded in the epidermal pits. Each segment of the body except the first, last and the clitellum, has CT, which help in locomotion. Did you know that earthworms are known as friends of farmers? This is because their burrowing activities make the soil porous and aerated, which facilitates the development of roots in plants. Besides, they also play an important role in decomposing organic matter to humus, improving soil fertility. In recent years, earthworms have been extensively used for vermicomposting. We've just studied the morphological features of an earthworm such as its color, body structure, texture and external organs.